Do you love making money as much as a fat kid loves cake? I know I do. So what do you say we get obese from this easy money making route? If you follow this short, risk-free guide, you'll no longer need to live off of ramen as a scab, and you'll be virtually financially stable. Disclaimer. This money making guide only works in Escape from Tarkov, so stay in school, try not to do drugs, and if you fail at both, join the military. Or you can be a Chad in real life like me. For today, I'm going to show you two different routes for two different spawns on Lighthouse. The first part of this video is going to cover your more northern spawns here, and the second half will cover your southern road spawns here. As long as you keep the route short and under 10 minutes, you won't have to worry about player scavs, and you're not going to find too many PMCs unless you run into each other when the raid begins. But don't worry, I'll go over how to avoid PMCs later in the video, so what do you say we get to the money making? Cha-ching. Cha-ching. Right, for this run, we spawn in cliffs. There's two caches you can hit as you make your way to villages. I skipped one. Uh, if you want to find it, I use Map Genie. Best map site in town, in my opinion. And here's the second stash. Found a nice saucy P90 there. We're gonna speed things up as we run down the villages. I took out the sound because footsteps crunching in snow at high speed is kind of annoying. But we're gonna stop at this little camp here. Get this duffel bag, and then we're going to continue to village. Yeah. Coming up on our first house, there's a duffel in the boat, which I didn't know before. For some reason, I try and jump on this doghouse to hop over the fence. It doesn't work, but I also don't have vaulting key bound, so... Try it. Let me know in the comments if it works or not. We're going to run to our second house. To sum this house up, just check all the desks on the second floor. Uh, there's two valuables, two valuable spawns, two big coins to be exact, and a duffel. Don't even bother on the first floor. Yeah, don't take as long as I did here. I, mean, I could have shaved off a minute if I just stuck to the desks and the duffel. That's a mule. That's going for about 100k on the flea market. You also need it for your samples quest for Peacekeeper. Then we're going to speed things up and run to the back of the house and hit this toolbox. And you'll find some nice tools in the shed. Not for this run, but normally you will. You can find uh, two toolboxes in here and then this jacket. Word for the wise, don't sell your corrugated hose unless they're really down bad or you can sell them on the flea. Uh, I don't know the exact number, but you need more than 10 for all your hideout upgrades and quests. Make sure not to skip the backyard of this house. It's where you're going to find the most loot in this run. Your biggest money maker right now is going to be selling these tool sets. If you need them, keep them. If you don't, make that bread on the flea market, because life's like a sandwich. No matter which way you flip it, the bread comes first. It didn't spawn, but you can find a tool crate next to a stack of lumber, and you also loot on top of the lumber. You're going to find a duffel bag uh, just to the outside of the shed. It doesn't always spawn, but it's nice when it does. Uh, make sure you check the ground right here, and then on top of all the tables. Don't forget the jacket. Little sneaky spot. BSG likes to hold loot is in this uh, this little crate right here. You'll see uh, your little like loot dot pop up if there is something in that small crate. So don't forget it. And now it's time to extract. 
just kidding. Forgot to hit this uh this toolbox in the shed. But don't forget that on the way out. Collect all the wires you can. You need your spark plugs for a therapist quest. And then we're gonna take path to shoreline to extract. Cool. Now let's go over the southern spawn route. But before we do, I save you the misery of having to sit through a YouTube commercial. Instead, I'm going to advertise this giveaway. For this month and this month only, we are giving away a free Prepare to Escape edition of Tarkov to one lucky subscriber on our Kick channel. So head over to kick.com backslash goonsgaming, hit that follow and subscribe button, and we'll announce the winner in our Discord. For the Southern Road Route, you have five PMC spawns you have to worry about, not including yourself, but don't let that scare you. If you spawn on the beach, wait a couple of minutes to let the PMCs run north to water treatment, and you'll be free to roam after that. The PMCs that spawn in the mountains to the east are rushing chalet, so they won't be a threat either. Here's what the route looks like. If you're having a hard time nailing the route, just remember, it's shaped like an upside down dick that you'll never be able to forget. So let's dive in. We spawn at Southern. If you weren't aware, your PMC has the rock climbing skills in Olympian, so we're going to mountain goad it up this hill to our first cache. This weapon crate here has a 50% chance to spawn, because either it does or it doesn't. While we're going through the gambit and scaling this rock face, I'm going to advertise my rogue exploit farm to make you the ultimate lighthouse killer. PSG hasn't fixed yet, so capitalize on all the free armor and guns while you can. You can either click the link on the top right, or wait until after the video and it'll be on my end screen. Alright, jump down from the truck. Check this duffel. There's uh, some ammo, food, water that spawned on, the, on this chair. And always make sure you lay down when you check this duffel. And don't hit tab midway. Like I did here. Like a dummy. All right, check this pallet for uh, for some tool spawns. I haven't seen it this wipe yet, but I'm gonna keep checking. On this in this burnt house, burnt down building, there's a chance for a rare spawn. Usually like teapots, I would find. Uh, you can find ammo and food and water next to the outhouse, or what I like to call a shitter. Going into the building in a little shed. There's tools right there. And it looks like my boy Scooby found a water filter. If my moonshine was up, I would have killed him for it. Only check this jacket if your balls are as big as mine. I'm going to speed things up and go hit the second cache. We're going to hop down this little cliff to protect ourselves from the mountains to the left. And we're going to run inside this building. But first, we're going to check the shitter. When in doubt, always check these kind of crates. You can find a lot of loot in them. The rare spawn on the ground right there. You got some duffels, food, ammo spawns in here. Make sure you check all the surfaces. Pretty much wherever you see my blue laser is somewhere you need to look for, uh, for loot. I headed over to the shack. Got some tools. There's two loose spawns for tools. One right here, and then one in the back right corner. Next, we're going to head to the striker for a weapon crate.
Now it's time to hit the third cache of the of the run. I love this route for PMC because you just passively make a shit ton of money as well as level your endurance and strength because because you rarely die. Don't forget about Gilligan's Island. Next, we're going to head to uh, Southern Road to extract. I put a lot of time into my jokes in hopes to make you laugh. If I was successful, please hit that like button. And if I wasn't, roast me in the comment section and then hit that like button for me. Favorite part about Lighthouse is you can spawn and extract in the same location. Best map. Undisputed. If you can't find this cache, look for the tire that's leaning on the guardrail. Directly downhill from there. Oddly enough, this is where I go to farm my morphines for a therapist. Find some tools right there. It looks like there are some nails on the ground that I missed. So don't forget those. And then on the top of on the top of this connex is my go-to key farm spot. And that's a wrap. And since you stuck with me this far, I'm going to show you the fastest way to level your searching. It requires two people. Put all your, your valuables in, a, uh, in the backpack and then just swap backpacks. You get more experience if you pick up the backpack and then search it rather than just searching it on the ground. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the flip side.